First thing the Lakers want to do is get Kareem in the game early. So they'll throw it to him a lot right away in the game. Johnson's pass cross court will be negated by a three-second violation on the part of the Lakers. And Rick Adelman, who took over as head coach of the Portland Trailblazers when Mike Schuler was dismissed February 18th, looking for the Blazers' first victory of the season against these Lakers. 0-5 in regular season play. Terry Porter comes up shooting, and Worthy has the rebound. Worthy, quick turnaround. With the change of what you're going to see, Greg, is that the Lakers will go inside. What Adelman wanted to do with Danny Young in the lineup is get a faster team. He's done that, but you give up size when you go with speed. Young opens and hits his first shot from the floor. Caldwell Jones got the start at forward as Drexler played guard. And there's the deflected pass by Porter. The pass ahead, two on one. Porter will take it himself. Missed it. Drexler over Kareem. Doesn't go in Jabbar with the rebound. Well, when the, the Portland gets opportunities like that, they have to convert on it. I thought that Porter did a good job defensively, but he's got to make the layup on the other end. Just underway, early first quarter here at the Forum. Short dish, the shot doesn't go, but the whistle blows, and this one will go against the Trailblazers. Foul is on Drexler, that's number one. And steering the Lakers ship not quite as smoothly. First time in five seasons the Lakers failed to reach the 60 win mark, but there are a number of reasons for that. Well, it really is, Greg. First of all, the, the league as a rule is just infinitely more difficult to play against because there are a lot more players and, and better teams. So the Lakers have really done an outstanding job considering they've won it twice, so people were coming out with a little added incentive. Lakers lead it. 3-2, 10-25 to play first quarter. Portland has not registered a victory over L.A. all season long. Duckworth, baseline, draws the foul from Jabbar. Kevin Duckworth, for the first time in a long time, is finally feeling good and healthy. Well, when I asked him at the beginning of the game, his statement asked, Kevin, how do you feel? And the answer was great. And it's important that Kevin feels at least good because they need some inside play, does Portland, because you have to do some things to combat what Kareem will do on the other end, one of them being wearing Kareem down. I want to go. Duckworth saddled with the flu in the strep throat and was less than 100% in game one Thursday night. Hits one of two, A.C. Green with the rebound. A.C. Green, the Lakers' leading rebounder through the regular season. Well, that's what I talked about. If Kareem gets the ball down there, he's difficult. I, you know, people talk about diminishing skills. If he gets the ball, you have to be wary of what he can do. Right there, he shows he can still shoot that sky hook. Duckworth comes right back at him. Comes up short, and here come the Lakers. Magic directing traffic and kicks it back outside. Worthy down the lane. Missed his tap in. Has his own rebound. James Worthy takes the ball to the basket with authority, but what you really have to look at is how he just kept going after the basketball. Back outside, Danny Young, whistle blows. And Bill Saar says, foul is on A.C. Green. You know, Greg, I, I think one of the things that is positive for Portland starting out, they shot the ball quickly on Thursday, and one of the things they wanted to do was be patient. They've done that, and the reason you want to be patient is just to make the defense work on both end, on that end. Porter around his man off the glass. Nice shot by Terry Porter. 8-5, Lakers. Lakers enjoying the early edge and rebounding. That looks like a man with a sore wrist to me. <laughs> looks like it feels pretty good. 
down the lane, Kersey. And make it a 10-7 Los Angeles lead. And the whistle blowing down low again, and the Laker fans cheer. Well, you heard about Byron Scott coming off the pit. You see right here, he squares up and doesn't even hesitate to shoot the shot, and he knew right away it was going in. Like I said, I think the wrist looks pretty good. Meanwhile, Drexler has drawn his second personal foul. And Johnson posting up down low. Bill Sarr blows the whistle again. And that is number three on Drexler. Great, that really hurts Portland, and right away Rick Adelman is going to take a timeout because you need to have Clyde Drexler's offense. Right now, he's got three fouls, and Adelman has a decision to make. Eight minutes. You see right here, he pushes A.C. Green going over to the official. Now, A.C. will go back in, try to get position, and Clyde just shoves it. So he gets called for a second foul here. So that obviously is a lot of physical play, but this really hurts Portland because that's the top scorer there. On the bench, no points, three fouls. Portland has got to get some offense. They brought in Sam Bowie to try to show up that uh, deficiency. Seven foot one inch Sam Bowie wearing number 31 for Portland in his fifth year out of Kentucky. Hasn't played nearly as many games as five years in the league. Would indicate though injury problems inside, out of bounds, and belongs to the Lakers. So Portland now with Young and Porter in the backcourt. Bowie, Kersey, and Duckworth up front. Got 13 Worthy across the middle and pulls up. You know, he is virtually unstoppable. If he faces you, he's quick. He's strong enough to post up and still get to little shots like that. James Worthy makes it difficult on the defense. Boy, Worthy has eight. 12-7, Los Angeles leads. Porter's pass. Danny Young wasn't where he thought he'd be. You know, Greg, when you lose a player like Clyde Rexler, that, that, that pass there was a function of Terry Porter trying to get some points, easy baskets, because he knows the importance of Rexler offensively. Cross court, Byron Scott. This one comes up short, green to the board. We're approaching four and a half minutes into this game, and the Blazers have one rebound. Magic Johnson grabs another and feeds Scott. A great play by Magic. I happen to be watching him particularly. He shot the ball. As soon as he let it go, he knew it was coming off. Porter tried to go for the other end and just got in trouble. And this whistle goes against Byron Scott. This is Magic. Now watch him. As soon as the ball let go, watch him start to get the ball. He goes right there, he catches it, and he finds Byron Scott wide open for the easy basket. But that's the presence of mind that Magic has on the court. 7.15 to play, first quarter. Duckworth, double team. And Bowie, looking for room on the baseline, couldn't find it. Here comes Scott and the Lakers, four on three. Tipped out of bounds and belongs to the Lakers. One rebound for the Trailblazers so far. The Lakers have grabbed nine. Well, Greg, part of that is due to the fact that Portland's missed a great deal more shots than the Lakers. <laughs> and not many Lakers shots to rebound. Shot clock at 12. Jabbar. And there's rebound number two for Portland. Porter. For Duckworth, big shot rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Porter. Four points in the game for Porter. 14 to 9, Lakers. Worthy facing up and running over Jerome Kersey. Good defense. Very good defense by Jerome Kersey. He stayed in good position. James Worthy had him beat going right, decided to go left. Kersey held his position. And that time, Worthy got called for the foul. I have to tell you that. Laker fans here are ecstatic about the Golden State Warriors having taken the two games to none lead over the Utah Jazz. Well, Greg, I can understand well why they should be because Utah is somebody that gives Lakers a lot of problems. That may be one of Terry Porter's worst shots of his career. Johnson will slow things down to go back down the lane. Off the bounds and belongs to Portland. Come 
and back comes Danny Young. The Blazers down by five. Clyde Drexler on the bench with three personal fouls. Kersey will put it up. See Greg again, right there, they ran the clock down to about 10 seconds on the shot clock. And as long as the Portland can do that, the Lakers get out of position. And Portland has some good one-on-one -on -one players. That time, Jerome Kersey knocked down the jump shot. Lakers still owning the huge advantage on the boards, but theirs is a three-point lead. Oh, oh. Bowie thought that he had the ball, and Blaine Reichelt says otherwise. That's number one on Bowie. Meanwhile, at the Palace in Auburn Hills, the Celtics and the Pistons are tied. He goes one for two from the line. Laker lead is four. Danny Young, short front rim. Here come the Lakers. Magic off to the side, AC Green. That was off a quick shot. Danny Young came down, took the shot right away, and that's what happens. The Lakers will push it back and get a basket quicker, and you can get it back defensively. Duckworth. Chuck. Short over Kareem. Rebound, Percy. Here comes Los Angeles. Magic for three. Rick Adelman wants time, although only for 20 seconds, as he sees the Lakers go up 20 to 11. Well, Rick Adelman. Lakers shooting 57%, Portland having its problems here early on. Coming up on 420 to play, first quarter. Danny Young, open. Pointer makes 20 to 13, and that's four points for Young. Magic Johnson for three. And Bowie with the rebound. Duckworth to Kersey. Duckworth alone for the rebound. And Scott Travel. Danny Young came over, defense the inbounds pass, Scott turned around, and there was Young, and he carried the ball for a step. Good defensive play by Young. Byron Scott made a cardinal stand, if you will, for a guard. He can't take the ball up court without looking first to see if there's a defensive player. That time he made a mistake. Jabbar and Scott will take a seat on the bench. Michael Thompson into the lineup along with Michael Cooper. And down the lane, Porter on the beautiful pass for Kersey. You know, the Lakers have made this change, and I said this to you earlier, Greg. Now the Lakers have probably the biggest running team in all of basketball. The shortest game to four to six five. And that'll be an offensive foul on Magic. You come in with Michael Thompson, who's 6'9", Michael Cooper, who's 6'5", and then everybody else, including Magic, is 6'9", on the court, and these guys can run. That's what Pat wants to do. He wants to increase the tempo of the game just a little bit. Lakers fifth turnover. And the Laker lead is three. Quarter for Boyd. Front rim, no. Here come the Lakers. Cooper. Tries to look down low where Magic is posting up Young. He goes right by him. That's one of the things the Lakers will go to if they see you with a small team. That time, Danny Young down on the block with Magic. There's about a six-inch height advantage to Magic's face. Uh, 22-17. Magic has five. Kersey. Back rim. Green. Thompson and Cooper will shoot the three. Rebound Worthy and goes back up. James Worthy outnumbered under the board. He still came down with it and Danny Young is holding a hand. He looks like he's injured a shooting hand. Timeout game one out of those two teams. Here we've got 2.15 to play first quarter. Lakers lead it 24-17. Number 14, Jerry Seasting in the game for Portland. He puts up the shot. Tip no and comes back outside. Here come the Lakers. Three on one. Magic to Green. And he is clobbered by.
by Porter, although it's Porter who hits the deck. Well, the Lakers got the ball, and you know Magic is going to find the open man, and Terry Porter goes up and tries to make a hard foul against Terry, uh, against uh, A.C. Green. You saw Terry Porter went down hard, but he got up as though it hadn't even bothered him. So, you know, he's a pretty tough character to place with James Worthy in the lineup. Danny Young, by the way, still on the bench, having had it taped up and may return. 26-17. Under a minute 50 to play for the first quarter. Porter puts it up and hits. Terry Porter has eight. And it's right around Porter. Seven for Johnson. Minute 25 to play first quarter. Bowie. Short jump hook doesn't go. Duckworth has a personal foul. That's his first, and there's a look at Danny Young with the taped hand now wrapped in a towel. Probably some ice under that towel as well. Well, I'm sure it is some ice under that towel, and what I, I'm not sure how Rick Adelman wants to approach that, but I would think if, if you sit down now, it'd be hard to come back in the game and play. If you're going to play with one of those kind of injuries, dislocated finger, you might as well just play and keep it warm because if it cools off and then it swells up again, now you don't have any movement. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> well, I don't know about being a doctor. I do know about a couple of dislocated fingers. 30 to 19, the Laker lead is 11. Between the injuries and the foul troubles, Rick Adelman is seeing two problems mount up here. Percy back outside. And Porter with Woolridge on him. Gets a pick and his pass down low. Batted out of bounds. Just joining us, we're at the Forum in Inglewood, California for Game 2 of this playoff series. We have a minute three to play here in the first quarter, and the Lakers lead it by a score of 30 to 19. Clyde Drexler, three quick personal fouls. We've had him sitting out most of this first quarter. Here's Porter. And, and those are the kind of shots Portland has had to take a, a, since Drexler, Drexler's been out of the game. And if they keep taking those shots, we talked about it earlier, what it does is lead to fast breaks because those are long rebounds for the Lakers. Kevin Porter has 10 of the Blazers' 21 points. Magic for three. Uh, 33-21, Lakers, and Magic has 12. Kersey, not there. Whistle blows down low, and this one will go against the Lakers. The Blazers believe that they can establish a game down low. And they haven't been able to do that as yet. Lakers have 11 fast break points to their credit so far this afternoon. And James Worthy with 10 points and 5 rebounds. Magic Johnson has added 12. And as you see, Clyde Drexler, their big point producer, has yet to do so this afternoon. Craig, it's hard to make some production when you're sitting on the side of the bench for three on the bench. Oh, foul. It is tough, isn't it? Numerous tips just don't work for the Portland Trailblazers, and this one goes against Portland, and again, Kevin Duckworth. That's number two on Duckworth. And we'll shoot him at the other end. You were the only one who, uh, who could really hit from the bench. <laughs> If you're saying I spent some time on the bench, there was a point in my career I did it. just that. I don't know about making shots, but I'm Tough defense. Duckworth comes up shooting and puts up a brick. Bowie is there for the rebound. Well, I think Sam Bowie is the person that really has to play the big game for Portland. He put, had 15 points uh, against Portland, uh, the Lakers of the day, as they call travel against Magic Johnson. But Sam can score inside and outside, and he's also a very good passer, so he's the kind of player that can get the rest of the Trailblazers in the game. This will give Portland one last shot with a second remaining. And Kersey takes it. It would count if it goes, but it doesn't. So we played one here at the Forum in Inglewood. It's the Lakers 35 and Portland 23. And we'll come back with second position. The parity in the league showing up. And you just don't know who can come out of this thing, even though everybody's saying right now the Lakers look like the best shot. 
Whistle blows down low, and Michael Thompson, the guilty party. I think, Greg, one of the real surprises you have to talk about absolutely is Golden State. I mean, they've gone into Utah and taken two games there, and nobody, I don't think anybody, ever expected that kind of thing would happen. But I think we can see a lot more of that kind of play in the, turn, in the NCAA playoff, in the NBA playoff. Where are you? Uh, that's what I was trying to get right. Thank you. <laughs> Drexler back into the lineup. Pete Kersey down low, and it's tapped out of bounds. Portland comes out for the second quarter with Seasting, Drexler, Bowie, Steve Johnson making his first appearance of the day, and Jerome Kersey. Bowie over Jabbar, just as the shot clock expired, and a rebound down to Woolery. 35-23, Worthy, one on four. Yeah, but he was one on four with three of the Portland Trailblazers not knowing where James Worthy was, and that's where he's, anybody could be affected when you're doing that. 37-23, Jabbar tying up Bowie out front. That's what you call being in the game, and that means that for Kareem, because what he saw is Sam Boyd put the ball the absolute worst place you can. That's over your head. Kareem just grabbed it, held onto it, and the jump ball. Come on, come on. Tap to L.A. Detroit off to the lead in the second quarter over Boston. Pistons leading that series one game one. Worthy. Now up front, Woolworth gets hammered by Steve Johnson. And this is a player, Orlando Woolrich, is off the bench is somebody that has to get him some points, 8-10 points off the bench, 4% free throw shooter. Oh 37-23. Bowie across the lane. Nice move. You said that like you're surprised. Sam Bowie is a good player. He's just been beset by injury, so you haven't had an opportunity to see him a lot, but he can really play. Bowie with four points has already grabbed five rebounds. Oh, defense. That's the game no one's been able to defense that shot. That's the supreme test there for playing against Kareem down there. Ten minutes to play, second quarter, 39-25, L.A. Drexler. Trying to get on the board, still can't do it. Cooper will pull up. And here comes Drexler. Both teams love to run. Bowie will take the long jumper. Six for Sam Bowie. And that's what makes him a tough player, because as you saw him make the one inside, he can make them outside as well. But the tempo favors the Lakers. As long as it's going up and down, the Lakers have an advantage. Michael Thompson's shot is no good. That time it was the Lakers putting the shot up in a hurry. <laughs> Bowie for three. Off the front rim, no. Person with the rebound, and it counts. Not unusual for Sam Bowie to put up a three because he has been encouraged to do it and he can hit them. Timeout on the court, 9-10 to play. Lakers. Green gets the ball. And he does something, I just wanted to ask you one real question, Greg. Have you ever seen this before? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is that a pretty shot. He's not getting it as, as often as he would like or nearly as close to the basket as he was like, but his team still knows the importance of getting Kareem the ball in position to score because you have to do one of two things. You, you either let him go or double team. If you double team him, he will make the good pass. If you don't get there in time, he still can make that hook shot. Sam Bowie to the bench. And Kersey completes his three-point play, 39-30, with 9.05 to play. I would imagine one of the reasons that Sam Bowie is out of the game is because of one, two reasons. Caldwell Jones is a better defensive player on Kareem, and Sam may be a little winded because he hadn't been able to play through a training camp. Driving the lane, Woolridge doesn't go. And that'll be an offensive foul. Caldwell Jones... 39 years of age, the oldest ever to wear a Portland uniform. Johnson with the hook. Wolver to the rebound. Thompson had the open shot. Back up top for Cooper. 
That is smart basketball. Michael Thompson had a wide open shot, took it to the defense to get another player who had a better shot than Michael Cooper. That is just good, solid basketball. Down the baseline, Clyde Drexler gets on the board in a big way. Forty-one, thirty-two. Kareem again. What the explosive approach to the game Clyde Drexler uses and what Portland has missed so far today. Part of Fly Slama, Slama Jamma is Clyde Drexler from Houston, and he took the ball with authority and got it over Kareem as well as Orlando Woolrich right there. 41-32 Lakers. 7.50 to play, second quarter. Loose ball, worthy has it. He was fouled as Magic came down. That personal foul is on Magic Johnson. These two teams after today will move on to Portland for game three Wednesday, and if necessary, Friday for game four. And if the game five is necessary, it'll be coming back here to the forum. Drexler for Kersey. Jerome Kersey with nine, and it's 41-34. Portland's gotten back in this game by being able to get the shots they want. They got a, a jump shot that time, but it's a wide open jump shot, something they hadn't been getting, even though they're pushing it up on the break. Because the break is the basketball that the Lakers want to play. Portland really doesn't play that as well. Scott and Kareem play a little catch and mouth magic. Foul as he goes to the bucket. And he'll go to the line for two. Number one on Seasley. Thursday night, the Lakers jumped off to the big lead. Portland didn't quit. Came back to within four and five points a couple of times. The Lakers always got the big shot. Well, they really did get the big shot. But what it, it tells you about the Lakers is they always seem to find what it takes to win basketball games. When I was sitting here, uh, I was talking, uh, and what I noticed is every time it got close, Byron Scott made a shot on Magic. You know, you get one of the, the veterans, and that's what you, you like about a team like the Lakers. They have players who've been there before. Steve Johnson can't find room, double team, drives the pass into the middle, and it's batted away. Another Portland turnover. Worley loses the handle. Thompson finds it. Look what I found. <laughs> and just like that, the Laker lead is back to 11. Whistle blows and Scott can draw a tough foul. Where the Portland Trailblazers are running into some trouble here because once they start going into one and one basketball, they're not going to be able to beat the Lakers. 6 19 to play, first half. Kelly, as I was saying before, makes you match up awkwardly, and that's what's happened. Caldwell Jones back into the lineup for Portland. Ceasing. Around and out. Rebound, Duckworth. Good patience by the Trailblazers. That time they moved the defense around, allowed Kevin Duckworth to get in there for the offensive rebound basket. And the Trailblazers slowly but surely getting their share of rebounds. And Magic wants to post up on c -State. instead feeds Worth. Seven, 36, five and a half to play. Five assists for Magic Johnson. Kersey on the drive. And didn't get the roll. We got Jerry Seastein guarding Magic Johnson, and Portland did the right thing right there. They just switched because Magic was taking Seastein. Beautiful feed up the middle. Ball just didn't fall and the Lakers will retain possession. And here comes Terry Porter to replace Jerry Seasting and Richard Anderson. 
with, I think Jerry gave, the bench. Jerry gave him some good uh, bench play right there. He didn't turn the ball over. He didn't make any baskets. But you need people off the bench not to turn it over. Now you can get Richard Anderson in who can score some and Terry Porter to get the control of the team. Byron Scott nailing one out of the corner, and it's 49-36, a 13-point lead for the Lakers. Scott has six. Porter going to the basket, out of bounds to Porter. Lakers with Kareem, A.C. Green, Bob Worthy, Magic Johnson, and Byron Scott. Drexler will take it and hit it. Four for Drexler. Remember, playing with three personal fouls. Worthy looking at a one-on-one -on -one with Richard Anderson instead up top to Scott. And Porter cutting Magic off. A.C. Green. And here comes Porter. Blazers off the run to Porter works his way inside and draws the foul. When teams work toward making the playoffs, these teams are two of the best since 1977. 13 trips for the Lakers, 12 for Portland. Philadelphia, Boston, and Milwaukee there. And back in 77, these Portland Trailblazers won it all. Well, Greg, if they wanted to win this game, they have to stay patient. They, Portland periodically comes down, and they'll be patient. And then all of a sudden, it seems as though one of the guys feels, I need to get a shot up, and they shoot it quickly. And then the Lakers just rush the ball back on the other end and get a basket. And you just can't beat the Lakers that way. That last trip down court, James Worthy committed his third personal foul, and now Pat Riley wants a 20-second timeout. And I'll tell you why he wanted that timeout. A moment ago, as the time the clock was running down, James Worthy held the ball over here for five seconds. They moved it around two or three times. You get A.C. Green taking a shot over in the corner. That's not the kind of thing you want offensively. Pat is just trying to tell his team, all right, let's keep our uh, concentration here, stay here, and do what we're supposed to do. Pat Riley, at age 44, ranks number two in number of playoff victories for a coach. Number 88 came Thursday night. You see Boston trailing Detroit by four in the second quarter. And Boston hoping to pull into a tie as they move back to the Boston Garden for game number three. Milwaukee and Atlanta tied at a game apiece. New York moves on to Philadelphia up two. Well, after being beat by uh, Atlanta six times, Milwaukee has come back and taken one away from Atlanta at home. And now Atlanta has the pressure on them to get one of the games back when they go to Milwaukee. To play. Del Harris has done one of the better coaching jobs in the league this year. Well, I don't think anybody thought that Milwaukee would be this good of a team. But they have some veterans in Sidney Moncrief and Terry Cummings and Jack Sickman who have played well for Milwaukee and allowed them to have the kind of season that they've had. Danny Young, number 21, back into the Portland lineup. Just located the ring finger on his shooting hand earlier. Shot clock at three. And the Lakers throw it away. Drexler on the move. Leaves it behind for Porter. Nice little drop pass. That was a Drexler. Great drop pass. But that's the kind of thing that Clyde Drexler, Drexler gives the Trailblazers. That's why you want him in the game as many, as many minutes as possible. Had Duckworth thinking one way, went the other, and he has seven points. 51-42 Lakers. Up top, Young. <laughs> Sore <laughs> finger and all. Tested that finger early. <laughs> got him a jump shot up in the head. Well, you've got to find out, don't you? You're right. Byron Scott. Oh, with a rainbow that touches nothing. 51-44. Drexler will put it up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Hey. And A.C. Green with good position on Anderson. Three minutes to play here in the first half. Scott moves his way inside. Loose ball. Young has it. And Young and Porter. And up top, Anderson will shoot the three. Drexler off to the side. Danny Young. Get up, Cap. And Jabbar with the rebound. They had the opportunity, Greg. They just cannot get the ball to drop. Does it very well. Clyde Drexler hit the deck, and Thursday night, as he positions Jake O'Donnell, 
There was a play there. Drexler thought he should have caught a charge from Magic Johnson and didn't. Magic has 18. And the Blazers will tell you it's tough to get a call against Magic here in the forum. Well, it, it's, it's just tough, and you, you tend to think more things go against you when you're getting beat, and I'm not so sure that some of that was not the case for the Blazers. Duckworth. Shot clock winding down. Doesn't get it. Green with another rebound. Tell you what, he, he hit a big man with Kevin Duckworth, too. Timeout on the court, a minute 45 to play. First half, the Lakers lead at 53 44. We'll come back to the forum right after this. Portland Trail Blazers have been able to withstand those spurts and at least stay within shooting range. Well, what they've been able to do, Greg, is, is periodically get into the slowdown mode. And by that, I mean they take time, make good shot, shot selections, they either make them or they have an opportunity to get rebounds because you move the defense. And that's what Rick Adelman wanted out of this team. But when they don't do that, they take long shots. Those are long rebound opportunities for the Lakers. And the Lakers are as good as anybody in basketball and pushing the ball up court and getting the layup. Clyde Drexler got three quick fouls in the early moments of the first quarter, sat out a goodly portion of the first quarter. He's on the floor along with Jerome Kersey, Kevin Duckworth, Danny Young, and Terry Porter. Shot clock down to five. Duckworth, short stop, won't go, tapped up, loose ball, and A.C. Green has it. Magic directing traffic, finds Green in the lane, and he's fouled. This one will go against Jerome Kersey. Number two on Kersey. So far this afternoon, the Lakers shooting the ball well from the floor, and Portland with... The absence of Drexler getting some contribution from Terry Porter. Well, they've come out as Portland. They've got the, off to a better start, which is one thing that Adam and Rick Adam and the coach wanted to get for Portland. But what they haven't been able to do is sustain their patience offensively, allowing the Lakers to run the game up and run the ball up and down the court. So it's more of a Lakers tempo, even though the score is close. The, the Portland is struggling. I mean, they really are struggling just to stay close in this A.C. Green, five points, four rebounds so far this afternoon. His nine rebounds a game led the Lakers through the regular season. And one of the things that they wanted from A.C. is just to be more consistent and work on his offense. And he's done both of those and been a great plus for the Lakers. A minute five to play. Oh, look. Duckworth off the baseline, draws the foul. Michael Thompson over the top. We're discussing A.C. Green. Look at the improvement. And Mr. Green has shown in the years that he's been with the Lakers on both sides of the ledger. Well, the, I still contend that the most important improvement is the scoring. The one thing that Pat Riley had harped at AC was to try to score more, just take more shots. He'd have shots, he just wouldn't take them. And you need to have him doing that just to take some of the pressure off of the other guys on the team. They can get it from Green, Magic, and Worthy, but you need balanced scoring. AC has been able to do that. And where he's really done it, Greg, is on offensive rebound. That's the best way for a player like AC to do it. That way they don't have to run a play for it. AC could jump ever since he arrived at Oregon State University. Duckworth hits one out of two. He has six points, three boards, and it's 54-45 as we approach 55 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Magic. Missed the easy one underneath. And Duckworth, says the forum crowd, traveled, but no whistle. Drexler facing up on Cooper, drives the lane and draws the foul. Magic wants to know who it's on. Byron Scott. Two on Scott. And Drexler goes to the line. Make it Michael Cooper. The guilty party, and Drexler hits the first. Clyde Drexler, you have as, as good a player with, with skills as anybody on the Portland Trailblazer team. What happens sometimes is when you get in the foul trouble, you tend to try to take the game in your own hand. And if Clyde does that, that's, that's when the rest of the Trailblazers start standing around and playing one-on-one -on -one basketball, which they cannot do against the Lakers. You see the time remaining in the lower right-hand portion of your screen. Shot clock is a 10. Magic looking for a way around quarter. 
Magic. I don't know how he got that shot up, but no less up in the basket. Magic has 20, 15, 13 seconds now remaining here in the second quarter. And Drexler. Again, one on one. Over Cooper. For him, no, his time expired. That's the end of the first half with the score. The Lakers 56 and Portland 46. Pat O'Brien will return with the Prudential at the half, live from our New York studio after this message. Second half action underway. And Sam Bowie comes out to start the second half for the Trailblazers, along with Drexler, Kersey, Duckworth, and Porter. This is Kersey. And Jerome Kersey now has 11, 56-48. And just to have something else to think about, the Lakers came out in the 1-3-1 trap, trying to get the Portland Trailblazers to shoot a jump shot. Portland, for Portland, they made it, but for the Lakers, it's something to think about. Lakers have Kareem along with Green, Johnson, Scott, and Worthy, and they're in the sky hook. Well, <laughs> what can you say? The all-time playoff leader in points, games played, minutes played, field goals made and attempted. And the list goes on. Drexler lost it going down the lane. Johnson, bounce pass, Worthy. Well, it ended up in Worthy's hand, but when Magic threw it, he was throwing it to Byron Scott. But that's what the Lakers do. They had four guys out. Kareem gets the rebound. Other four guys get in the lane with Magic with the ball. What else can you ask for? He really had his choice of three gold jerseys on that side because, as you say, there were a lot of beating the rest of the Blazers down court. Bowie. And Duckworth steps on the line. Belongs to the Lakers. Magic Johnson now with seven assists, and here's the last one. Well, you see right here, that's a tough shot to try to take, and Kareem gets the ball. He pushes it up and gets it to Magic, and when Magic gets it, you see he's got three people to throw it to. 60 to 48. Magic. Another nice bounce pass, and this time A.C. Green gets fouled going to the hoop. Number two on Bowie. A.C. Green with five points, nine rebounds. Point number 61. During the time Kareem Abdul Jabbar has been in the National Basketball Association, five presidents, six Apollo space missions, and the forum tickets have taken a jump on the average. Not to mention the stamps went from six cents to 25 cents. 62 48, Lakers. Duckworth open. Round and out. Drexler there for the loose ball. And Porter for three. Big rebound, Kersey. Well, that was a big rebound by Jerome Kersey, but that's the, one of the shots that was taken. Well, actually, it were three long jump shots. And again, that time Portland was lucky. They came up with that basket, but you can't expect that to happen all night. Scott to the baseline. Loose ball, Worthy. Had it backed out of his hands by Porter. Out of bounds and belongs to the Lakers. Meanwhile, at the Palace in Auburn Hills, third quarter, Celtics by one over the Pistons. Well, I have to say that's a surprise to me because I, I thought Detroit would come out and get things going pretty quickly after the game they played the other night. Celtics looking to pull even in that series at a game apiece before they move back to Boston. Worthy up top, and they swing it into the corner for Scott for the three-pointer around and out. Green. Doesn't go. Kersey comes down with it. Here comes Porter and the Blazers three on two. Drexler down the lane. He's got it. That time the Portland Trail Blazers were able to get their own version of fast break. The Lakers have to do a better job in defensive transition. Up top, whistle blows. And this one goes against Kareem, and he doesn't like it a bit. Number two on Kareem. Oh. 
Well, you see right right in the center of your screen, you see Bowie's got a hold of Kareem's arm, and he tries to sling loose of it, and when he swung loose with his right arm, his left arm was an elbow to Sam Bowie, and a, an official called the foul, and Kareem didn't agree, and I'm not sure that I necessarily agree with the call, but that's just how it goes. Drexler, back outside. Kersey had it taken away by Magic. Four fifty-two. Lakers. Drexler trying to come right back, drives across the lane, and he'll go to the free throw line. Thirty-three. Good defensive play by Magic to start the play. So right here, Magic comes up. He gets a hand on the ball right here, and I didn't think he was going to get by the defensive player. Kersey got by him, was able to pick the ball up early. You know, that's one of the benefits of being six-nine. But you know. One of the things Rick Adelman still talked about with his club is that they can't come back and try to get, you know, six points when you're just in the space of where you can only get two. And right here, Portland has ended up with two free throws, but they're lucky. They very easily could have missed that shot and been back in the same old swing game that they were in the first half. Drexler now with nine points, seven assists, and the Blazers again down ten. Three personal fouls on Kareem. He goes one-on-one -on -one now, duckwork, baseline hit. Looked like a pretty determined individual to get that shot in the West Green. Duckworth trying to fight for position down low, and Kareem wants a foul. Shot goes up, no, tapped up and in. We'll wait to see who gets credit. Sam Bowie. Eight for Bowie. And again, the margin is ten. This match down low, but Magic puts up the three. Boy, he just thrilled the two. Got out there, there was a switch. Terry Porter uh, got switched off with Kareem setting the pick. And for whatever reason, Duckworth backed off of Magic, and Magic just drilled a three-pointer. 25 for Magic. Right hey. for Bowie. And Bowie inside, doesn't get it. Percy for Bowie. Yeah. And he's fouled. Things are getting a little bit rough on the baseline. No, it, it is. It's becoming a little bit of physical right there. But A.C. Green, that's the way he plays. He's a very aggressive player. But I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary when you watch it play. You see right here, Sam Boyd tries to take it, but aggressively misses it. And Portland comes up with the ball, and Sam gets it back. When he takes it to the basket, you see A.C. Green came over and fouled him. And that's not necessarily a bad foul, because you don't want to allow people to go up to get uncontested layups, when you, particularly in the playoffs. You want to make people earn everything they get. The often injured Sam Bowie came out and played 21 minutes Thursday night, scored 15 points on 6 for 7 shooting from the floor. He has 10 points and 6 rebounds here this afternoon. It's the Lakers by 11. Back outside to Magic and back again to Worthy. Shot clock is at seven. Losing the handle, here's Drexler. And Portland three on two. Pass to Porter is good. Nice lead from Jerome Kersey. Well, and the Lakers want timeout. And they get it with 7.08 to play here in the third quarter. The Laker lead is nine, 69-60, lead it by nine. Kareem. And Bowie with the rebound. No changes in the lineup for when these teams began the second half. Duckworth gets one off just as he's fouled. And Jake O'Donnell says, uh, Kareem, you're guilty. And that's four on Abdul Jabbar. If you're just joining us, this is the Forum in Inglewood, California. Another packed house to watch the Lakers. Take on the Portland Trailblazers here in game two of this opening series in Western Conference playoffs. Lakers lead at 69-60. And Kevin Duckworth with six points and four rebounds to his credit. Make it seven points. Well, what has really happened for Portland is they've been able to be a little more consistent in slowing the game down in terms of shot selection, getting the shots they want. But what Kevin Duckworth does to Kareem, he's so big and strong, it wears Kareem down. And when Portland has ever beaten LA is when Kevin Duckworth has played well. And the crowd notices the Laker lead down to seven, and there is a bit of a rumble going through. 
whistle on Portland. Michael Thompson into the lineup now. You saw Kareem on the bench. Fouling on Terry Porter. It's number two. Magic. Bowie comes over for the double team. And AC Green. Thompson with the bucket foul. But this is what we talked about before. Every time the game gets close, the first thing they did was to get it in the Magic's hands on the block. And when you do that, everybody has to come and help out. And that's exactly what started off. Magic got it on the block, broke out of the double team, got it to AC Green, who gets the ball right down to Michael Thompson, who takes it up. Is now looking at a three-point play opportunity. But again, you go to Magic or you go to the hey, you go to the dance, you go you dance with who brung you. Magic's got him here, and that's what they'll do. Celtics out to a 73-64 lead in the third quarter at the Palace. Here it's 72-62. Duckworth, shot clock at six. Drexler takes a look and looks for his shot. Out top with the shot clock at one. Porter's shot doesn't fall. Magic rebounds, outlets for Scott. Worthy, baseline, no, Thompson follows. Seven for Thompson, and that started with a good save and pass from Magic Johnson. It started with a great effort by Magic Johnson. He was almost out of bounds, was able to get it up. And then my Lakers will start getting turnovers just like this. Drexler's cross-court pass, stolen, Scott all the way. And Rick Adelman wants time. They got that fast team in, does the Lakers and good now. Again, they, they have the team that's 6 9 with Magic, and they, this time they got Byron Scott. So they can get out and run on you as they did that time. Porter working up top with the shot clock down to six. Down the lane was fouled. He should have shot that one, but he should have kept Kevin Porter, he did not like that. I just got you, you'll get me for that one. His name is Terry Porter, but he had an opportunity to go to the basket and he got fouled. And instead of shooting it after hearing the official's whistle, he passed it off. But the reason we laughed is because when Terry got here on Thursday, they mistakenly put his name in the box score as Kevin Porter, the great player from played back with Detroit and the Bullets. And Terry didn't like that very much, and he talked to me about it, and I just didn't say. <laughs> Teammates have been calling him Kevin. <laughs> One out of two. It's 80 to 64 with 340 to play here in the third. Great gumbo along with Quinn Buckner, NBA playoff action. Game two, round one. Porter hits the deck. Johnson takes the shot. Oh! Caldwell Jones with the rebound. Here comes Drexler to Duckworth. Eighty to sixty-six, and Duckworth has eleven. Let's say he ran the court like he's feeling a lot better, but the kind of point production they need from Duckworth is down on the block. It's good to see him on the break, but he needs to be down on the block where he can make his production. Magic and Worthy. Couldn't hold on to it. Here comes Drexler. Drexler fouled as he tries to split the defense. Boston's lead over Detroit is two in the third quarter, 75-73. Meanwhile, James Worthy has pulled his fourth personal foul on that last play. And Drexler finally beginning to make his presence felt here. Well, he's had time to get rhythm, uh, Greg. The, the thing that really got hurt Portland and, and Clyde also is that when he got those three fouls, you're out of the game, you lose your rhythm. It's extremely difficult to, to come back in the game and get it after sitting on the bench for a while. He warmed up at halftime. Now he has it going again. Michael Cooper back into the game for the Lakers. The Lakers now with Woolridge, Cooper, Scott, Magic Johnson, and Michael Thompson. Shot clock is at six. Spinning inside, call for the travel. Want to remind you, CBS Sports continues its coverage of the 1989 NBA playoffs Saturday, 3:30 Eastern, and Sunday with a doubleheader starting at one Eastern time. Drexler down the lane. 
and Pat Riley calls time. Drexler has 13, and we have 2 minutes 23 seconds to play here in the third quarter, and the Laker lead is down to 10 at 80 to be more important this year than any other time. I don't think there's any question about it. That may be by far the most important ingredient going on this year in terms of who has a chance to win this is the home court advantage, and Detroit has that. Magic has 10 assists. Percy. Outside, Caldwell Jones. Tied up by Magic Johnson. This is, this is what I was talking about. You see, even three years ago, two years ago, the Lakers had it by 16, and it's now on the nine next, last year, and this year it's two. But the, a lot of that has to do with people coming at the Lakers a lot harder. The, the league has gotten better, but the combination is still said. The Lakers are still champions. They're the team to beat. Portland will give you no argument on that count. A minute 42 to play, third quarter. Blazers are down 12. The shot clock at eight. Shot clock at four. Michael Thompson puts it up. In and out. Rebound. Magic. Three-point attempt. No good. And here comes Portland. Portland needs someone to take charge. By Drexler inside. Clyde is the man that they want to get to take charge. At that time, he was able to beat two people and get it to the basket. But next time, he's got to find the open man. You're not going to beat two people all night. Just like game one of this series, whenever Portland looked as if it might have something going, back came the Lakers with a big shot. Loose ball, and a loose ball foul. We'll see who this is on. This one's going to go against, uh, well, Jake O'Donnell now says. Uh, Michael. Michael Thompson at the Lakers. And that's four on Thompson. Clyde right here beats both Michael Cooper and Byron Scott. He didn't get much help, and he was able to get by Cooper. And nobody got up to help him on the drive, and that way Clyde Drexler got to the basket. Clyde is the player that has all of the tools to be able to get the entire 12 players of team to play together because he can score, he can pass as well. So he's the one that's going to have to take the burden. Jerome Kersey now with 14.7 boards, and for Clyde Drexler... 10 of his 15 have come here in the third quarter. Kersey has 15 now. He hit for 24 in the opening game. And the Blazers have cut back to 10. Oh, we have 45 seconds for the quarter. This is right about the time they like to go to Magic. Things are starting to get close, and they'd like to get it to Magic and let him do what he can do for the 10. Cooper for three. Grabs the loose ball. Baseline jumper. Byron Scott doesn't fall. Thompson fouled by Duckworth. You cannot give the Lakers second, third, and fourth chances at the offensive end. You're right. You can't give anybody that kind of opportunity, you know, to get those many shots. Right here, Byron Scott is really struggling with his shooting, but you see, right, Michael Thompson just fight for it, and he got fouled by Kevin Duckworth. But you're right. You can't allow anybody to get that many opportunities, and particularly the Lakers, because they beat you with quick baskets or easy baskets on a fast break. An offensive rebound basket is just another easy basket for the Lakers. Michael. Michael Thompson is a big part of what they do with offensive rebound baskets. Yeah. Ten points, five rebounds for Thompson this afternoon. They get 11 points. And it's a 12-point Los Angeles lead. And only two seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock for Portland. Clock is at 10. Drexler gets it to fall. So Clyde Drexler has come alive here in the third quarter. He has 17, five seconds remaining. Three pointer, Magic doesn't fall. So they began the half down 10. They end the third. Portland still trails by 10. That's the end of three. 86 76 Lakers. We'll return after this message. And a word than two at a time. They're taking shots quickly, but you only get two points at uh, three at best if you make the shots. So just be patient. Kareem Abdul Jabbar back in the Laker lineup. Orlando Woolridge puts one up. He comes up short, and Caldwell Jones has the rebound. 
Well, Terry Porter slows it down. Steve Johnson's pass just taken away by Magic. Down the lane. And the foul. This starts with a giveaway. Well, it, it, it does. Right here, Steve Johnson tries to throw the ball. But this is because it's hard to get it over Magic. He's 6'9", and he gets it up right here. And nobody cuts Magic off to the basket able to get there strong enough to get it in the basket the first thing you have to do when you see a man coming down court is try to stop the ball magic johnson is so adept at going either way nobody seemed to want to get in his way from portland magic took it to the hole and got a three-point play fourth personal foul on jerome kersey 89 76 lakers the numbers on magic 28 points six rebounds 10 assists blows. Jake O'Donnell says this one's on Orlando Wolver. Remind you, next Saturday, our NBA playoff coverage begins at 3.30 Eastern Time, and then doubleheader action Sunday beginning at 1 Eastern Time here on CBS Sports. Steve Johnson with the hook go. AC Green rebound. I'll say this for the playoffs, if, if you're just sitting down to watch this game, you better be back next weekend because it, it's something that is, you just don't know what the outcome is going to be. And that's what I've always enjoyed about playing this, the game of basketball. You just know, never know what the outcome is going to be because of this play. Out of bounds. And this, belongs to Portland. And this year in particular, I just wanted to finish that thought. This year has been as crazy a year I think you ever had in all of the NBA basketball in terms of who will win what game. You just can't trust anybody out there, is what you're saying. <laughs> Underneath, Hustler oh! broke loose and couldn't get it home. Orlando Woolridge came up with a big hand in his face. Here comes Magic for three. <laughs> 30 points for Magic Johnson. The Lakers lead it 90. They get to be an old man. <laughs> Terry Porter hammered as he goes along the baseline. He'll go to the line. Yeah, he said he had had, he had, had some semblance of a beard for about 10 years. He had it the better part of his professional career. And uh, one of the reasons I asked him is because I noticed it, and I thought that's what it meant. It meant, you know, basically, I'm serious. I want to let everybody know I'm serious. But what he told us particularly is that he wanted to make sure that his teammates understood that he was very serious about going after this third championship. Well, he's a joy to talk to. I mean, Greg, we could have talked to him all, all day and all night. Just He exudes confidence, enthusiasm, and, you know, I, it's been chronicled many, many times, but he is just a joy to talk to. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure how shaving a beard can show how much, much more determined you are to go after a championship. Well, I tell you, it, it, it's a change of demeanor, you know, just to show people that he, he is taking this thing very seriously, and he wants, that's his way of showing it. They were calling him Young Buck. Another three, this one doesn't go. Woolridge follows, and Percy went up to meet him. And this one is batted out of Woolridge's hand from behind by Drexler. On that sequence, the Trailblazers found legs. Well, they've had legs. Uh, what they've been missing is the position to get the rebound, and the Lakers had most of that. Behind the back to Woolridge, and he'll go to the line. You know, you were right about you were right about his determination and, and, and how how intent he is on winning this one. And you talk about how the Lakers want to win it for Kareem Magic most of all. Well, he definitely wants to win it for Kareem. You see, right here with the good wraparound pass and somebody who I think has really struggled in this game has been Orlando Woolridge. I said earlier, and I contend that in order for the Lakers to be successful, Orlando is going to have to be a big part of their offensive as well as defensive production. And if he doesn't do that, then the Lakers will definitely have some, some problems. Time out on the floor with does well. He he's just one of the guys. He has the enthusiasm. He likes giving high fives and being a part of the team. And I think that's great. Cross court. Bowie lost it. Magic has it. And suddenly it's three on two. And Kareem is down court. This is Woolridge though, and he draws the foul. Kareem Abdul Jabbar ran the court and beat half the Trailblazers down court. Packed house here at the Forum in England. Through the last eight or ten years, he's doing it this afternoon. 
Jerome Kersey has five personal fouls. There's a deflected pass, and the Lakers have the ball again. Cooper for three. And Rick Adelman, very upset on the Portland sideline, wants a timeout. the Portland Trailblazers. Each man has a keen sense for picking a clear path to the basket and is willing to assist his teammates' high-flying maneuvers. Literally taking the game to new heights, Jerome Kersey and Clyde Drexler use teamwork to be the best they can be. Ever won three consecutive NBA titles. Danny Young back in the lineup. Duckworth turnaround, got it. Kevin Duckworth has 13. Sam Bowie back in the lineup for Portland. Oh, Bowie! What a great look! On a bullet pass from Magic that just well through three Trail Blazers' hands. This is Danny Young. His shot is off the mark. Drexler follows. 100. 282. That's the same move he pulled on Kevin Duckworth in the first half of the same result. Well, it, it is the same move, but the reason that the move looks so easy is because Lakers have been hitting shots from everywhere else on the court, three-pointers, and so when they, there's no help to be down there for Kareem. Drexler out of the corner doesn't go. Magic, another rebound, and gets knocked to the floor by Duckworth. Number five on Duckworth. Have a look. You see the shot taken right here by Drexler. He misses it. But if you look, you see Duckworth makes an effort to go after the basketball, and he just misses it. And some of what Magic does is about four or five years old. And then Kareem's hook doesn't go. Just a few minutes, we'll be sending many of you to Auburn Hills, Michigan, to join the Boston-Detroit game. Of that game is 95-92 Detroit in the fourth quarter, and those leaving us will be kept up to date on the score of our game here in Los Angeles. Byron Scott out of the corner, three-pointer is good. 13 for Byron Scott. And not bad for a guy who was doubtful when uh, he first arrived at the arena today. Well, I'll tell you what, if you look at all the Lakers, probably the one that was struggling the most short of Orlando Woolridge was Byron Scott. He couldn't get his shot going. But the Lakers have just played outstanding basketball. What they've really been able to do is get Portland to take shots that they don't want to take. The ones we talked about earlier that they don't want to take. Quick shots, shots out of the floor of the offense. And when you do that, the Lakers push the ball up court as they've done the entire game. And when they do that, they're as good as anybody in basketball. It may sound like old and repeated, but it's just a fact of what they do. Game for the turnaround short. And Sam Bowie with a rebound. Despite the efforts, the concerted efforts and the focused efforts of the Portland Trailblazers, this has been Magic Johnson's Magic Johnson's uh, game this afternoon. And we'll now send many of you to Auburn Hills, Michigan, to join the Boston-Detroit game. Those of you leaving us will be kept up to date on the score here in Inglewood, California. Scott, three-pointer doesn't go. And here comes Drexler for Danny Young. And Young suffers a dislocated finger early on, hits the shot. Drexler has 10 assists. But early foul troubles kept him out of the early action. Boy, it really hurt Portland because they, they had the kind of tempo that they wanted, but they lost their leading score, and then they tried to manufacture shots. And when you do that, you have people taking shots in positions they don't normally do it, so you don't block out and do the other thing. Good look from Worthy. And it's 107 to 90. Drexler for three. My Archer comes up short. Here comes Cooper. For Scott, who goes right at Bowie, rejected, and then Bowie rejects A.C. Green. Kersey. 
The tap no good, tap up again no good, and Kersey finally gets it. Well, that was just good effort by Kersey because I thought he took a poor shot in transition. There was a two-on-one break. He could have passed it, but his just his ability to get back at the basket, go for the basketball, was able to get it in. The line most often heard from your teammates about you, but you could have passed it. <laughs> you know, I passed a lot, but when you shot as badly as I did, you didn't take a lot of shots. <laughs> and Bowie's hand made that shot come down a little short. Quarter. And Byron Scott called for the blocking foul. And Porter will take a while to recover. You see Terry Porter coming right at you at your screen. Now, he'll decide to go left. And it looks to me that Byron Scott got there. The official felt that he got there late, didn't have good position. What happened really was that Byron Scott had his shoulder down, and they don't consider that good defensive position. And I agree with them. Good ball movement by the Blazers, and Terry Porter hits that one. He has 21. And 20-second timeout for the Lakers now. With four minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. And offensive foul on James Worthy. That's number five on Worthy. Portland not quite ready to throw in the towel, and as evidenced by people like James Worthy and Byron Scott and Magic Johnson on the court. Pat Raleigh doesn't feel, feel quite secure about this one yet. But they're at a point now that they have to cut the lead down to under eight points. If they don't do it in the next, you know, two or three minutes, they don't have a very good chance to beat the Lakers just by the way the nature, well, the, the nature of the way the Lakers score. Percy's miss on the inside, and Scott comes back. This one will go against Danny Young. He does a lot of things. He can pass it as well as that time he showed his shot blocking ability. Inside, offensive foul on A.C. Green. And it was Sam Bowie who was there to block the shot. And A.C. had seen Sam Bowie block the shot just prior to that. And in his anxiety and effort to get the dunk did an, had an offensive foul by putting his arm in Sam Bowie's chest. In the two games here in L.A., Sam Bowie has been impressive. Sam, I'm telling you, Sam Bowie can play. He, uh, he has just been injury ridden. So he hadn't been able to get a lot of rhythm, but considering that he hadn't played a lot in the last three or four years, I think he's come out here in the last two, day, last two games I've seen and played extremely well. Worthy with Drexler on him. Quick turnaround. Comes up short. Out of bounds. And belongs to Portland. Drexler floats through the lane. 23 for Drexler. Lakers lead by 11 with a minute 50 to go. Well, you see again, the score is getting close and they got the ball in all reliables. <laughs> Johnson moving inside and draws the foul. 2.05 to play in Detroit, 96-93 Pistons, and Boston's new one Celtics. Here it's 111. Nice. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Drexler inside. That will count, and he drew the foul. I want to tell you, this is just a great play. Clyde Drexler beats A.C. Green, goes to the basket, turns around in midair, protects himself, and still dunks it on Michael Thompson. That is a great basketball play. 26 points for Clyde Drexler, 21 of them in the second half. And it's the Lakers by 10. Takeaway by Kersey. Four on two for the Blazers. Quarter, the lob. Oh, what a play by Clyde Drexler. Excuse me. Sir, you're not supposed to do that. Here comes A.C. Green. Green loses the handle, out of bounds. It's 111-103 L.A. with a minute seven to play. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to appreciate where this ball was. When Greg Gumbel and I saw it, it looked like it was going out of bounds. Five Drexler caught it and was able to get it in the basket. Drexler's shot no good, and the Lakers have the ball. We are under a minute to play now. 
And all alone is Michael Thompson. And Drexler almost got there for that one. Well, in the efforts to try to get back, Portland with people up pressed in the front court, and they left Michael Thompson alone. So that time, they, that's what happened. You either live by the press or you die by it. That time, Portland got caught, and they got, got a shot in the arm by it, to say the least. Down to 35 seconds to play for the game. Quarter, three-pointer. Doesn't go. Out of bounds, belongs to the Blazers. Stops the clock with 28 seconds to play. 113-103, Lakers. You'd have to say throughout the course of the game, the Lakers have played just as they are the defending champions, and they're definitely the team to beat. They play hard, they do what they want to do in the course of a basketball game, and that's all you can ask for. Them. Bodies fly, Kersey throws it up and draws the foul. He'll go to the line with 16 seconds on the clock. Uh, last play. You know, I want to give, give Portland credit. They've had enough opportunities where they could just lay down and say, this thing is over. But they continue to play hard, even though time is running out on them here in this game. And the Lakers go up two games to none in this best of five series. 113 to 105 is the final. Our Miller Lite player of the game is Magic Johnson. 35 points, 8 rebounds. Jerome Kersey, Sam Bowie with A.C. Green.